What's going on everybody? Lucas here with Stock Artist. Today I'm going to be talking about one of, if not the most innovative bows on the market. So stay with me. All right, so you are looking at the APA Black Mamba Air. APA is a bow manufacturer out of Canada. I honestly never, never heard about them before um, until my friend tagged me in one of their bow giveaways and I was actually lucky enough to win it. This is it. It's a 28 axle to axle. Um, at the time though, this bow did have a navy blue riser and bright yellow cams. I was not a huge fan of the color. Thank you APA for holding the giveaway and allowing me to win this bow because I absolutely love it. Thank you. But I had to get it repainted. I'm sorry APA, but I had to, I had to repaint it. So I went with the OD green. It just kind of matched my, my style and my, my likes. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw up a little table about this Black Mamba Air, just some quick specs on it. So IBO up to 340 feet per second which is pretty awesome for a short little axle to axle bow. Speaking of axle to axle, this thing is a 28 inch, which is very compact, very, very lightweight. Um, the brace height is seven and a half. Physical weight is 3.2 pounds, which I found to be pretty incredible as well. Um, I was looking on Hoyt, I was looking on Matthews, PSE's website, all of their new bows, the carbon bows and all their lightweight stuff. Um, this one was actually lighter than all of their new bows, which I, I kind of found to be uh, surprising, hence the uh, APA uh, Black Mamba Air. But don't quote me on this. I think this is probably one of, if not the lightest bows on the market that you can probably get for a nice little pack around hunting bow. For draw weight, you've got a couple different options, uh, 35 to 50. 45 to 60 and 55 to 70, which I believe this one is a 55 to 70. The draw length ranges from 25 inches to 30 inches. Energy at 70 pounds is 89.86. And then let off is 80%, which is awesome again for the short little uh, axle axle bow. All right, so getting into the bow now, uh, I'll go ahead and start from top to bottom and go over some of the specs and some of the different features of this Black Mamba Air. On the top, you've got twin flex limbs, which just kind of helps uh, for a better distribution of stored energy. On the top and bottom of these cams, you get a rotating draw stop, which is easily changeable for different weights, different uh, draw lengths and stuff like that that you can change on the fly. Um, but these draw stops just allow for that solid, solid back wall. So coming down into the uh, bus cables, they do have a variable yoke technology on some of their newer Black Mamba Airs. This one I believe is an older model um, because this one doesn't have it as well as a couple different little features this one doesn't have versus their newer Black Mamba Airs. But again, they do have that variable yoke technology which allows your bow kind of to, to settle into place when at full draw and allows uh, your cams to be properly centered in line. If you have a limb driven arrow rest, they do provide you some anchor points on the top and bottom um, which are centered in line with that limb. So there's no uh, kind of variations, no torque. It's a torque-free limb anchor is their proper term for it. I know some of those limb-driven ones, you have to kind of mount them to the side, which could kind of torque that, torque that limb a little bit. Um, so having those dead center in line with their limbs is another benefit. So this one was kind of playful and I, I do appreciate it um, since I do kind of film a lot of my own hunts and stuff like that. Um, if you have a GoPro or something like that, they do have a little camera mounting piece on this front fang right here on the riser. Um, so you can mount a GoPro there if you want, if you wanna record some of your hunts and stuff like that. It's just a fun little uh, added benefit on their riser. On the uh, riser, they do have a couple of uh, machined holes on the side here where you can kind of thread in some different weights, just depending on you know, what you like, if you want a little bit more weight on it, if you want a little bit on the left side, right side, top, bottom, um, they do have that feature as well. Something I thought that was really cool is uh, some of the inspiration as far as on the riser itself. You see, you've got kind of a fang uh, feature here, as well as some different coffin shapes inside the riser. 
All of that is obviously based around the black mamba snake and its uh, coffin head shape, I guess you could say. Um, so in their risers and stuff like that, pretty much all of their bows, you look at it, they all have the fang, which I think is kind of cool because, you know, looking at a distance or looking at a bow, it's like, okay, that's an APA bow. It's got that sweet little fang on there, which actually doubles as a, uh, like a branch hook for you tree stand hunters and stuff like that. If you want to hang this bow up um, off a branch or a hook or something, you can just hook it right here on this fang. Uh, just makes it that much easier. Another cool thing I liked about uh, some of the other APA bows is the carry handle on the front. The Air doesn't have it, and I believe the Pit Viper doesn't have it, um, but the rest of their bows have a, a little carry handle on the front. I really wish this one had it because that would be a nice little added feature uh, if I'm out hunting and stuff like that to kind of carry my bow by the handle. But, you know, I can, I can do with just the standard ways of carrying your bow. <laughs> So this right here, I would say is probably one of the coolest features of this bow. We have the cam lock pin that's kind of stored into the riser. So with this cam lock pin, it's easy enough to use. All you have to do is kind of flip your bow down, uh, step on the string, and just give your bow a little bit of a pull. It'll go ahead and slide this cam lock pin into either the top or bottom cam. And then boom, your bow will be pretty much locked in. You can take the strings off, you can adjust different things, you can do, you know, any different kind of maintenance stuff that you want on this bow without needing a bow press. So the other use of this cam lock pin is to center your arrow or your rest left or right. Um, like I mentioned before, this one is probably their older model, but on their newer model and on all of their other model bows, you can slide this cam lock pin into a little uh, machined hole right here next to your rest. And on the um, pin itself, it'll have a little center line um, etched ring around it. So when you lock this into um, your riser here on the side, you can move your rest left and right with the arrow on it um, to help center line that rest. So where this cam lock pin is stored, you also have their kind of tool section. You have a broadhead wrench, a knock wrench, and then on some of their uh, different models, they have a carbide sharpener right there if you want to sharpen a knife, if you want to sharpen a broadhead, whatever. It's just cool added little features like that, um, which really make me appreciate APA that much more because they're thinking about all these different little things that, you know, the hunter or archer might need out in the field. Uh, the cam lock pin, the nice little tool section, just an added little bow hanger hook all these different little things that they're thinking about, all these other big manufacturers and brands and stuff like that out there aren't really thinking about the little things like that. And again, that's why I really appreciate APA. Quick break. Okay, let's go. The other cool feature um, that APA offers on all of their bows right here on the side of the riser where the rest is, is their knock point alignment zone. So essentially when you when you put that arrow on there, you flip it on the rest, it'll help you center line that arrow and that knock point uh, without needing any extra tools or anything like that. You just line up that arrow with the little uh, pre-machined lines on the side here. And I mean, you're, you're pretty much ready to go out the gate without any extra tools. So it's all these different little features and stuff like that that APA has chosen to incorporate in some of their bows that really makes me appreciate them as a company. Um, they're thinking about just, you know, the basic archer out there, you know, who, who maybe doesn't have a bow press, who maybe doesn't have all these different alignment tools and stuff like that. Um, they're making it as simple as possible as they can for us archers. You know, it's, it makes it that much faster to get out in the field and shoot this dang bow um, after setup. So, I mean, I, I, I really appreciate what they're doing at APA and I'm sure they're just going to keep coming out with new and improve different things. Um, that you know, little all these other bow manufacturers aren't really thinking about or don't really care about. You know, APA does care about it, and so they're incorporating it into their bows. And you know, again, I I just can't appreciate APA enough for thinking about and taking all the time to incorporate all these different little things that help us out as archers. Jeez, I could probably ramble on all day. So, in my personal opinion, if you're looking for a lightweight, compact bow. The Black Mamba Air is the best bow on the market. 
So again, thank you APA for holding that giveaway and letting me win this awesome little bow. I am definitely looking forward to using this this year in a 3D competition as well as um, my main go-to hunting bow. I know competition short axle axle is not ideal, but this bow zips, it's very fast. I'll be shooting some unmarked. So I'm definitely looking forward to just to test this bow out and see how it's gonna perform this year. I, I definitely think it's gonna, it's gonna get me up there on the leaderboards um, at some of these different shoots. So thank you again, APA. Thank you guys for checking out this video. I cannot stress enough, go check out APA's website, check out all their different bows, check out all their new and, and uh, innovative technology that they've got. Check out that 2022 catalog on all those different features and stuff like that. And again, as always, like, subscribe, all that good stuff, comment, um, check out our website, check out our Instagram. It really, really helps us grow as a brand. And again, I'll see you guys in the next one. Good luck on all your future hunts.